regular meeting for September 17, 2019 is now in session. Please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please call the roll. Alderman Bouillon. Here. Garriga. I am here. Holleran. Here. Johnson. Here. Lewis. Here. Moranti. Here. Misa. Here. Rosenthal. Here. Sarar. Here. Volo. Here. Present D. Pietro. Here. Quorum present. Uh, a motion, can I have a motion to dispense with the reading of the minutes of the August 20th meeting and place them on file? Can I have an introduction? Amal and a second. John. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? The motion carries. Committee reports are on your desks. Um, <coughs> again, can I have a, uh, an introduction and a second to place the committee reports on file? An introduction. Trisha and a second. Calvin. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Uh, among our communications, well, our only communication, is a resignation of Elsa Levasseur as a member of the Conservation Advisory Council. <coughs> May I have an introduction and a second to place it on file? Introduction. Go on. Second, come on. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? <coughs> the motion carries. First off, our list of bills. <coughs> Any questions from the council? Sydney. May I have uh, <coughs> uh, a roll call vote, please? 
unless there's some discussion. A roll call vote, please. Alderman Guyan. Aye. Gariga. Aye. Alderman. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Lewis. Aye. Moranzi. Aye. Nissan. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Sara. Aye. Volo. Aye. President DPH. No vote. Carried. The next resolution authorizes the mayor to execute a contract with the Hudson City School District for reimbursement related to services provided by the Hudson Police Department School Resource Officer to the Hudson City School District. And this is the same, I'm sorry, this is the same as before, there's nothing different, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't think they're giving us more money. But at least they're giving us something. May I have a roll call vote, please? Alderman Bouillon. Aye. Garega. Aye. Halloran. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Lewis. Aye. Moranti. Aye. Nissan. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Sorrow. Aye. Volo. Aye. President D. Pietro. No vote. Carrie. I'm sorry, I have a quick question. Is is this the same officer? Is it the remains or is it something no, else? No, that's right. You weren't here. No, it was a new officer. It's a new officer. Check out. Is he new to the force or new to this program? No, just new, new to the program. program. Right here. Yeah. What happened to the other kids? I know the kids are from the yeah. yeah. We outgrew it. <laughs> and the last of our, uh, in, uh, of our resolutions that were introduced to being formal, <coughs> this is a resolution to accept a donation on behalf of the fire department, $100 from Pat and Irene Malloy. May I have a roll call vote, please? Alderman Fouillat. Aye. Gariga. Aye. Alderman. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Lewis. Aye. Moranti. Aye. Nissan. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Sara. Aye. Bolo. Aye. President Pietro. No vote. Carried. Okay, next uh, resolution. Now we're on to our new resolution. Uh, this resolution was actually brought to my attention by the city clerk, Tracy Bellini, sitting to my left. Uh, and it's a resolution waiving the fees on marriage licenses for active duty members of the armed forces. And it went through the finance committee tonight. And they moved it along. So first I need an introduction and a second. Kamal, Calvin, and now we'll call vote for us. Alderman Bouillon. Aye. Gariga? Aye. Alloran? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Lewis? Aye. Moranzi? Aye. Nissan? Aye. Rosenthal? Aye. Sar? Aye. Bolo? Aye. President D. Pietro? No vote. The next resolution authorizes a transfer of funds within the youth department accounts. Uh, I'll need an introduction in a second first. I'm sorry, John? Can you repeat that which resolution? Uh, it's number six. Thank you. I have an introduction from down a second. Calvin. Roll call vote, please. Alderman Aye. Gariga? Okay. Alderman? <coughs> Aye. Johnson? Aye. Lewis? Aye. Moranti? Aye. Misa? Aye. Rosenthal? Aye. Sawar? Aye. Hello. Aye. President Pietro. No vote. Carried. The next resolution accepts a donation to the Senior Center, <coughs> the National Union Bank of Kinderhook, in the amount of $100. May I have an introduction and a second, please? Dewan. Second? Someone? Second? Tiffany? Roll call vote, please. Alvin Bouillon. Aye. Gariga? Aye. Halloran? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Lewis? Aye. Moranti? Aye. Nizan? Aye. Rosenthal? Aye. Saar? Aye. Rolo? Aye. President D. Pietro? No vote. Carried. The next resolution are intra fund transfers from PPW, <coughs> Cemetery and Water, all within the budgets of those entities. May I have an introduction and a second, please? 
Calvin, Eileen, roll call vote, please. Alderman Bouillon. Aye. Gariga. Aye. Alleran. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Lewis. Aye. Moranti. Aye. Mizan. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Sara. Aye. Rolo. Aye. President T. P. H. Rolo. Carried. And lastly, <coughs> this is a, a sort of late addition that came to my attention today or yesterday. Uh, it's supporting the Hudson Athens Lighthouse Preservation Society's nomination to the Preservation League of New York's Seven to Save list. And attached is a, uh, a letter that I would sign on behalf of the, count, of the council were you to approve of this proposal. This what exactly do they want us to do? Just to say that we think it's a valuable uh, place to preserve and put on the list of preservation. And I think we all like the White House. And, yes. and what I did add in there is the House yes. has provided that the mayor would be authorized as well so that you could have to oh, okay. just to show right. that, you know what I mean? Just right. to show the city's voting. Right. <laughs> so, can I have an introduction in a second? Go on. Second? This is just on the list is Yeah, just to, to protect it. Or protects yeah. it. Is it actually in the city of Hudson? Probably not. Yeah. Is, it actually, is it actually in the city of Hudson? It's on. It's on the side of the road. It's on the side of the road. It's the side of the road. It's on uh, a roll call vote, please. Alderman Leon. Aye. Gariga. Aye. Alderman. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Lewis. Aye. Moranzi. Aye. Mizan. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Sara. Aye. Volo. Aye. President Pietro. No vote. Carried. <coughs> and uh, lastly, um, we have a proposed local law imposing a nine-month moratorium on the registration or operation of any new short-term lodging facility. As you may know, we're in the process of crafting a law that deals with short-term rentals. But in the meantime, because we want to do that correctly and with a lot of public participation, we would like to impose this moratorium while we craft that law. Um, this doesn't affect anybody who currently has a short-term rental, only those um, who are going for a, uh, to register within the next nine months. And yeah, if I could add, I mean, sure. just, we've been talking about this in committee, but since Andy was away and we uh, uh, had an emergency, this, we weren't able to really have this properly to be vetted in the committee. We've discussed something along this line now for months and how a moratorium would shape. Uh, would take shape rather. So the one that's here, we could have a quick discussion. So we have to um, throw it out of here. It's been laid on our desks right now. But um, I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, it does have a hardship provision again in terms of if anyone is in the process of uh, about to be putting an Airbnb online right now, they could come before the council and um, plead their hardship so they could get an exemption. I think it's pretty fair. Um, it's not going to be affecting a wide amount of people, but I think we'll do the right thing in terms of helping us craft a good law rather than being rushed into crafting a law that could have a lot of problems. So, with that. Uh, will this be on the agenda for next? No, in lieu of that, we're going to see if we can take the Rob rule and discuss it now, but as if we're voting the Ad Committee here. Because I think we've basically discussed this at length amongst the legal committee in terms of what a moratorium would do versus the local law. The only reason we didn't have it this month is just because Andy was the law. But, yeah, but no one's seen this law. The public hasn't seen well, it. Well, we can no see if they're seeing it right now. We could discuss it. It's pretty, it's fair, it's pretty fairly straightforward. So if we got a vote to keep it in committee or we could talk about it right now and vote on it, I think it's not that complicated. So if we'll have discussion, then we should have it with the full council. So it, it ends automatically if nothing else is done. The, the nine months, yeah, yes. It, it, yes, it ends. Absolutely. I would like to see. I make a motion to go back to committee. 
there's a, I mean, I sat in a lot of legal committees. I don't remember. We talk about this element for repeatedly in lieu of doing a full bill. Right. We but talk I about doing more time. Right, well, here's one, and it's pretty straightforward. So if we can't absorb it right now. I mean, if that's, if it's the will of the council to go back to the committee, we'll go back to the committee and we'll vote and have it again next month. But basically, this is. I agree with, with um, the chair of the legal committee. Um, the last legal committee was, you know, we had um, basic questions, repeated questions from the um, public. Um, we did the best that we can answer from what um, the city attorney already informed us. He wrote this up. I mean, where all the uh, concerns are being addressed. Um, I know we have a motion on the floor, so there's a second, you know, but there's no second to it. But um, if anyone else? I'll, I'll second the motion to bring it back to the committee. So let's vote on that. Before we vote, I'll just say that again. There's nothing in here that is complicated. It's a nine-month moratorium that we've talked about within the legal committee and taking input from the public about their feelings about rushing ahead with the wrong type of bill. So in lieu of that, if you want to wait till next month to vote on this, I'm absolutely in favor of it. It's a pretty right. simple thing to do if we decide to vote on it right now. I, so I, I, entertaining, vote entertaining Dominic's vote motion. And then yeah. exactly. I, mean, I think we need to have the public actually look at this. This act a lot of stages here. A lot of stages. This doesn't just happen. Well, right. There's going to be a public hearing. And then the mayor will have to have a hearing. <laughs> There'll be a lot of stages involved. Go to the county as well. Absolutely. Well, that's the next motion, actually. So, um, there's a motion on the table. Uh, let's. He said on Nick, and then Rich said. Yeah. Let's have a roll call vote, I guess. And that is, just to be clear, to refer it back, back to the legal. Alderman Bouillon. I'm sorry. This is the refer it back to legal, bro. We have uh, a motion on the floor from Alderman Moranti. And to refer it back, okay. Aye. Gariga. No. Alderman. Aye. Johnson. Nay. Lewis. Nay. Moranti. Aye. Lizan? No. Rosenthal? No. Sara? No. Volo? Aye. D President Di Pietro? Um, no. Okay, so we're going forward with this. Um, first, I need an introduction and a second. Tiffany and Sir Charlotte, can I ask a quick question? Sure. And this, is, this, this is a simple majority to refer a fan? Of course. Or two thirds? Why would it be two thirds? Yeah. No, your motion two -thirds is to keep it on. Okay. That's what I'm thinking about. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I need a motion. I'm interested in a second. I got that. And now I need a motion and a second to lay the proposed local law on the alderman's desk. Tiffany, second. John. And now, may I have a motion and a second to refer the proposal of the law to the Columbia County Planning Board for their recommendation. Do I have an introduction? John, second. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? The motion carries. So as again, I mean, for those who are um, not in favor, I remind you, this still has a long way to go. There will be plenty of public comment mm -hmm. opportunities. Anything you want to add? Uh, yeah, I mean, we certainly um, expecting we will be talking about it at the legal committee. Yeah. It's ongoing. It's been yeah. ongoing now for and, yeah, um, months. With the council's authorization, we will send it to county planning. Um, they will not receive it until next month because they're actually meeting right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll be on here again for October. And, um, and again, we'll have that response, you know, after your October meeting. And this would be the position to be considered by the council in November. That being said, does the council have any new business? We, could you clarify on inspection day for us? The dates, do you have that I can? Fire inspection? Yeah. I do. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, to provide our schmeezies and Kai Weidman from Kites Nest um, and Bob Gibson from DSS, Commissioner of DSS, who is um, in the process of applying for more funding to expand the bus network. Um, he's doing a lot of work right now to expand the youth components of it, which take all the different after school youth services home to different areas and ran our summer camp for us. And they're using that as a template for what, what they hope to be more ridership for adults afterwards. And they, Commissioner Gibson is really excited to get more ridership. If he has citizens telling him that there's going to be more people coming at this day or that day or this time or going to that place, he's ready to, to, to push it as much as he can from his perspective. Um, and so now is the time for anybody who, who wants expanded ridership to talk about that and organize and get more, get the word out there because now they're applying for that funding in, in the oh, spring of next year. Yeah. They'll be able to hopefully integrate that into more buses, more routes, more times. Yeah. It's the city municipal bus company. Like I said, I work with them, but I will be telling them to get ready. Because I've been trying to get it done since I moved here, and that was four years ago, and now i got a foot in and I can do something. And I, now we can get it done. Thank you. i got some other things, but I don't think this is the place to do it. <laughs> in well, the yeah, city. Speak up. Oh, okay. No, but I have no problem with that. Oh, speak up. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, y'all might not think it's important, but... Everything you have to say yes, is important. Okay, cool. Do you mind giving us your name? My name is Janice Beckles. Janice Beckles. I live on Washington Street. Thank you. Okay. And um, a city pool for the children, for the adults, where they could go, be safe, have fun. Because in the summertime, everyone doesn't have a pool in their backyard or they let their children use oak there. And I've been scouting places for that. And. Um, I just need to know how I go about getting funding for it. Uh, I would like to know that too. Okay. <laughs> I, I've been trying. I've been to. I've been to Mr. Barrett's. Talk to you. You know, mm -hmm. um, a few years ago there were some children down in the second ward, and they started a petition on this very same subject, mm -hmm. and they received over 200 signatures. So there is a huge. Uh, one for, it, yes. for a, a swimming pool for the public. Yes. So I don't think, and I'm not going to assume for everyone, but I know there's members on the council that agree with you, you know, and the problem is we need a location I and, the, and the money. So I, I haven't tried to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you, do you, know that, you do know that this, the school does open during, at least during the year. Yeah, but everybody doesn't know that. What? And, the, and the thing with the school, they open weird hours. Like they either open very early in the morning, you know, and it's it's only a, cer a certain time. It's not like you know from ten to four p.m. where it's just open to the public. Yeah. You know, they more things for not just for kids to do, but it, this is a city, right? Okay, I come from Queens, so and. But for adults to do too. I mean, I love my children, but I sure love being an adult too. And there's still some things I like to do as not just go home and sit home all day. But I, that's just me. Okay, but I think for the kids, <coughs> someplace like that, a, a swimming area that they could go and have fun. Families can go and picnic and things like that. Yeah. But I'll be talking to, I guess, Miss Tiffany. And she'll yeah, talk about right Are those two gentlemen right there? Yes. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Where, where, okay. where you said you're on the same block as Pocketbook or Pocketbook? Yes, I'm on the same side as Pocketbook. I think that's five folks. It depends on mm -hmm. how far up it is. You think that's all? No. No, I think it's not. Even if it's five kids. I'm odd. No, I'm not sure. We can all know each other. We can all know each other. Because we all want to benefit from many things that Absolutely. we all are looking for, so I don't, like I said, I yes. don't. So a pool is on a lot of our minds. Cool. I've got locations. Way, you know, it's a, it, as with most things, it's a matter of funding and yes. getting the property. And, right. But it's not out of the question. Without, yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of development. 
proposals yeah. around, and maybe one of them could be convinced to have a pool. Okay. So, can you bring outside, excuse me? No, go ahead. Can you bring like outside developers, or do you have to work within the Hudson area you can using? You can bring outside developers. They okay. will speak with the council. We will yes. ask them questions and see if they are right fit to work with the city, depending on and when, what it is and what they're asking for price wise. Yeah. One nonprofit group you might want to um, look up on the internet is called Friends of Hudson U. And we may help you in your search to raise money for a pool. Or a grant. I've been trying to talk to local folks that can help raise money, or have the money, to donate <laughs> a few. Ten of y'all. Give you a million each. Hey, did you want to say that? I was going to, I think, apropos what you were speaking about, when's the JLE meeting? Uh, yeah. I haven't heard about I wrote to them yesterday, to the uh, architect. I'm waiting to hear on both of the studies that are supposed to be due. Right now. Well, there's not a meeting scheduled for that? There is not until I hear back from them. Because they have to, the, the next meeting is where they're going to propose what they've come up with. So it's all in their court right now. I was supposed to... Um, uh, the original date was September 17th, and obviously they're not going to make that date. Uh, and the original uh, final project date, final deliverable date, was the 27th. I don't know what the deliverable, deliverables were on their ADA, <coughs> ADA study, but that hasn't come in either. And that was earlier, so. I don't know. I was just imagining that would be a good time. That would be another venue to bring up the pool, because at the last meeting, a couple other people brought up the pool there, mm -hmm. so. But I've been trying to push it for like two years now. So, <coughs> you see what we can do? Anyone else? So, what is the new metal object outside for yeah. our city hall? Um, it's, it's a mysterious object that has appeared in our midst. It may be from an alien culture. I'm not sure. Yeah. Apparently, an effort to satisfy an ADA requirement to contact, to have the ability to contact uh, someone in the building in case someone with a handicap wants it, you to come out. It, it doesn't really help anybody get in. It just lets them know, <coughs> the, the clerks, lets the clerks know that there's someone out there. So oh, one at a time, one at a time. I'm sorry, what? Does that mean? That is a, a first step of the city trying to <coughs> do something handicap accessible. Yeah, if it is, it's a very inadequate step, I would think. But yeah. that's. I mean, who did that? I still don't know. I saw that today. It's not finished, obviously, because there's a little string there, and I yeah. can't imagine that's that unless it's attached to a bell somewhere. <laughs> Who's doing that? Tracy's desk. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Yes, Claudia. Speaking of strings, what is that string in front of you? <laughs> My microphone is hooked up and I didn't want to get into a call from Fit and not hear the recording. I'm taping you all. I guess the city is exempt from historical preservation rules too, huh? Is it? If it comes to ADA, you're talking about? Yeah. I'm sorry, what? ADA. If it's an ADA standard. Oh, really? Right. Yes, Mr. You McGee. You can get an exception to put an entrance on this side where you have that alleyway. It doesn't work. It won't work. That's one of the things the ADA study is looking at. I'm not sure what they came up with. There was one proposal where they would recess the door. I mean, there's a possibility. We'll see when they bring the study. I, it hasn't come in yet. But they did a very, they have, I've seen some of the progress along the way. They're trying to, they've assessed the entire building. Because remember, to be, be completely ADA acceptable, they have to get people upstairs. And that's where the big cost would come in. But the rough estimate I've heard is over $3 million to make this building. <coughs> so, anything else? Motion to adjourn. Second? Oh. Can I add something really quickly to that? <laughs>
Mm -hmm. uh, part of the ADA study for City Hall, they have three proposed, four proposals that we'll be showing next week to everyone. And it goes from $135,000 up to $3 million to do the whole building. Mm -hmm. So for $135,000, we can make the ground floor. So they have submitted the final thing to you? <coughs> Are we having a special meeting on this? Uh, sure. The easiest way to get the information to you will probably give you set co copies of everything. But it's all part of a package that's part of the John L. Edwards, putting everything together, evaluating all the possibilities for the city of Hudson. All possibilities for accessibility? Yeah, you can make City Hall ADA, taking over John L. Edwards. So you all will have an arsenal of information, what's the best move for the city of Hudson to go forward in the future. Are you going to give us copies of it or we have to attend the meeting again? Sorry? Are you going to give us the council copies of this information or we have to Okay. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.